Okay, this is our prop today for the Candu Diva Daily Dose. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we even have a guy doing it for us. Thank you, Assistant Jay. Thank you. Thank you, Gong Man. Uh. <laughs> All right, it's Friday. I hope everyone had a wonderful week. Uh, he's going to get really happy with that gong. I feel like we're in Tibet. Go. <laughs> I love having a gong man on cue. Ooh, he's doing something fancy. Yeah, very fancy. Okay, okay. So <laughs> here is what's trending, what you missed in the news this week. Of course, you know, as Candid Divas, we feel like you should know everything you possibly can. Actually, truthfully, it's just a fun Friday, so... <laughs> Let's just level with you. Let's just level with you. And we're going to talk about things that sometimes we are, are of interest to us. Yeah. Well, the this first, week especially. The first one's a little sad. It's shocking. It is. It was to me. Yeah. So Catherine Zeta-Jones has bipolar disorder. Yeah. I didn't see this one coming. I didn't either. She's had a stressful year, though. Yeah. Absolutely. You know? With her um, husband, obviously, Michael Douglas, having throat cancer. Was it throat cancer? Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's doing well, though, right? He's cancer-free now? Yeah. He's doing a lot better. So that's great. But... Um, it's interesting because she's been in the hospital for about five days. It reminds me of when um, Britney Spears went in for her disorder. And actually, you found an article that I, I thought was fascinating as well. And what did it say exactly about that? It was talking about how people, when we hear these celebrities have these problems like mental health issues, you know, Charlie Sheen, Lindsay Lohan, Britney Spears, now Catherine Zeta-Jones, again, didn't see that coming. Mm -hmm. um, but the media tends to start making fun of it. You know? And why is that? Because they're celebrity? I think people don't take mental health issues as serious as they should. I mean, I honestly think that it's kind of like, oh, whatever, she's bipolar, oh, whatever, she's manic depressive. People kill themselves over mental issues. People, seriously, if you get to a point where you can't handle your life mentally, then that's not something to laugh about. Absolutely. Never. I know. I didn't think it was funny when Britney Spears was yeah. going through it. No, it's kind of sad. It's never funny. And I, th I'm, I think it's brave for her getting help for something that she sees as a real problem. Yeah. So, so. Now, I guess she's now at home resting with her family. Her parents right. are here trying to help her through. She's a mommy. You know, I hope really and pray that they, you know, they come out of it okay. So that was a big shocker this week. It was. All right. So moving on. Another shocker. Another shocker apparently to our gong man. Gong. Gong. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. <laughs> um, we were randomly discussing uh, all my children got canceled. Yeah, which is, and Jay said, what? It's surprising. You know, everyone's a little shocked. I was shocked. She was just on the Nate Berka show looking fantastic. I when know, I say Susan she, Lucci. I mean Mrs. All My Children, Susan Lucci. Yeah, Erica. Erica, Jay's never heard of that show, he says. She looked fantastic, and they were talking about All My Children. They had the wardrobe guy on and everything, and the same day. It gets booted. Wow. In 1970. The first was in January 5th, 1970. Uh, they started it, so right. That's so it's like fifty way years old. older than Is that. Fifty? No, <laughs> it wasn't nineteen seventy then. No, <laughs> that's why this is for fun. It was for it's forty ish years, right? Is anyway, it? It anyway, say. it's older than both you of keep us talking. and my husband. Up. Not put together, but it's older than all of us, right? Yeah. They also canceled One Life to Live, but as you can see, let me let's practice. Chasta, they canceled One Life to Live. Oh, really? Yeah. They canceled all my children. What? Gong. <laughs> It's so much more shocking. It is more shocking. My mom used to watch this show. I've never really watched it. I don't. I know that Susan Lucci's character, Erica Kane. He's gonna sell all that Tide. Yeah, who's gonna no sell? Well, Oprah sells the Tide now. Yeah, this is true. Which, by and the way, did you see how much she's charging yes, for her a million dollars? Wow, per, per commercials. So that's like a thirty for second the final episode. Yeah. yeah. That's like, that's like the Super Bowl of daytime TV. <laughs> Speaking of daytime TV, here's what's – check this out. So the two series that are set to be – or replacing um, the All My Children and One Life to Live slots are The Chew and The Revolution because studies show that the network's desired audience much prefers informative daytime talk shows like Dr. Oz, The View, Oprah, and The Can, Can Do, Do Divas. Divas. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting it, folks. He's getting it. You've caught on, honey. You've caught on. <laughs> so, I mean – Excellent. Yeah. We should call ABC. Or we you know should. What? Send them an email. Yeah, that's right. They're probably watching it. now anyway, so it's all good. They it's already good. know. <laughs> so something else that's been trending this week, I really don't give a crap about this. I don't either. But I don't have an iPhone. Maybe it's jealousy. Um, <laughs> there are white iPhones coming out. Do, uh, was the demand that high that yes. we needed white iPhones? The demand was that high. In fact, I heard of a friend of a friend who didn't want to buy an iPhone until they came out with a white one. Are we racist, racist. in the iPhone? <laughs> Racial in the iPhone community. I don't know. I have a black phone and I'm fine with my black phone. I don't, I don't know. Need a white phone. I don't know. What is that? I'm. I want a red one. 
Yeah. Oh. I don't know what that means, but I want a red one. <laughs> I want a purple one. We love all colors here in the Candy Divas. Yes, we do. Even on iPhones. So yeah, iPhones. Random. Okay, well, apparently some of you care about white iPhones, so congratulations, you can buy one now. <laughs> there you go. Yay. Yay. So that's what's trending for this past week. That's what people care about. Isn't that amazing? Yes. <laughs> We'd like to thank our gong man for the day. Nicely done, Jay. Good job. <laughs> Email us at candidivas at gmail.com, always candidivas.com. And, of course, we want to hear who you candidivas are. That's right. Have fun. It's about being fun. Fulfilled. Life. Fun. Fearless. Fearless. Woo! Why Candidivas. Not? <laughs> it's coming. Oh, it's oh. It's coming. There you go. Woo. Have a good weekend. Bye. Bye. <laughs>